just in case you are struggling to use blender or let's just say you don't have the needed cash to pay for some of the best 3d courses out there don't worry i got you as a 3d max user i have come to love blender greatly and for that reason i have taken it upon myself to support most beginners in the 3d field with everything i got I just love the change Blender has brought into the industry which has helped a lot of 3D artists who previously seemed to have lost hope simply because they couldn't afford the software all of a sudden given the opportunity to creating something for free without a single cost. I won't lie to you, it's kinda hard right now. The economic state in most countries don't look good and it's affected a lot of people. For this reason, I took it upon myself to put together some of the best courses, people, YouTube channels, books and pages you can follow as a professional 3D artist or a complete novice just so you can learn from them. These are the best of the best lists I got for you and I hope you love them. Blender Guru is a worldwide famous YouTube channel especially for its remarkable donut tutorial. That tutorial alone became so popular it had to be re-recorded by its original creator to cover Blender 2.8 and above. The content from Blender Guru varied from beginner tutorials and intermediate and advanced level tricks to interviews with professional artists. Trust me, this channel gives you a lot of beginner to pro insights most complete paid courses on other platforms fail to offer or even explain into details. Congrats on not giving up yet. Um, <laughs> it's always fun. Whenever you release a multi-part tutorial series, it's just fun seeing like the viewership drop after every part as people quit. <laughs> so if you did make it, hey, you, you, you're staying on track. You haven't given up yet. CG Boost is Zach Reynard's YouTube channel where he shares Blender tips. The channel also hosts some really interesting sculpting time lapses by Zach. His comprehensive tutorials on how to model, texture, and render a still life scene is amongst the most popular Blender tutorial series available on the internet. Cedric Lepela, also known as Piti Wazu, is a Blender artist and a tool developer. His YouTube channel hosts tons of tutorials on modeling. He also shares tips on how to improve the modeling workflow in Blender. His Fury Warfare tutorial series is a must watch, I won't lie to you. Blender Mania is maintained by Alex Cordbard. His straightforward two-part tutorial on how to model a cupcake is well known amongst the Blender community and it's said to have helped thousands of beginner Blender artists out there. Jan Sculpt is widely known for its digital sculpting techniques and workflows in both Blender and ZBrush. His YouTube channel is often updated with new content. Mostly speed sculpting videos of video games characters such as Sonic and Zelda as well as comic book characters such as Batman, Joker and Thanos. I'll carve in her eye sockets, draw her a button nose, refine her brows then carve her the creepiest smile ever. Remember the creepier the better. So what if I told you that you could create a scene just like these in as little as two minutes? This is just crazy, right? And what if I told you that this was much, much faster to work with, model with, and render than using displacement maps? Chip Waters is a hard surface artist who uses Blender as his main software to create non-destructive modeling workflows. He also uses several Blender add-ons which he demonstrates on his free video tutorials. If you want to know how an add-on functions or what it could offer to your workflow, just hit him up in the comment section of his latest post and he might make a video on it for you. Flipped Normals is a commercial website that offers paid tutorials for Blender, Maya, ZBrush, ETC, 
The guys behind it also maintains a YouTube channel where they share useful tips and other free content on various 3D subjects. CG Geek is another great YouTube channel that offers a wide range of Blender tutorials covering various subjects from modeling, rigging to real-time rendering. It's also well known for its tutorials on visual effect as well as its videos discussing the ins and outs of the VFX industry. If you want to know what the industry might require of you as a beginner, be a part of this channel. This Blender tutorial, you're going to be learning three unique, easy ways to animate destruction in Blender. Curtis Holt has a YouTube channel where he shares a lot of Blender tips as well as small video tutorials. He also reviews some of the most popular Blender paid tutorials and courses and gives useful insight about them. Now do you want to purchase a tutorial or course? Follow this guy else you might end up throwing your money away on a scam course. Gleb Alexandrov and A.D. Barrows are two Blender content creators mostly notable for their paid tutorials, hard surface modeling in Blender and space VFX elements. They have their own individual YouTube channels where they share some Blender tips. A.D. is the guy behind CG Masters website and Gleb is the founder of Creative Shrimp. Josh Gambrell is another Blender artist and educator. His video tutorials are mostly on Agvis and modeling high poly assets with clean topology. Amongst his most popular tutorial series are Complete Blender Agvis Tutorial and Modeling a Hard Surface Space Scene. Olaf 3D is a YouTube channel hosted by Norwegian artist Olaf Witness Hans. His main focus is around creating particle system and dynamic effects such as fire, smoke, water and clothes simulation using Blender. If you are interested in learning more or wanting more insight on simulation using Blender, kindly follow this guy. Grant Abbott is a Blender artist and educator who actively keeps his YouTube channel up to date. Besides his excellent series of tutorials, he also hosts interviews and competitions as well as live streams. Pietro Chivaro is an environment artist who uses Blender, Maya, 3 d Max, Unreal Engine, substance designer and painter in his software pipeline. He shares a lot of detailed time-lapse on his channel and recently he started recording free tutorials with full narration and comment. Okay, enough of the channels. If you want a complete beginner's course on Blender, Maya, Cinema 4D, 3D Max, After Effects and others, kindly check the description box in the first video on my page for complete free Google Drive downloads. Man, I really struggle to package all those tutorials together for you guys. Maybe I might get rid of them as time goes on or maybe I might not but if you are watching this video right now, it might be your lucky moment to start learning your favorite software for free. Now, let's talk about books, some of the best books every Blender artist should consider. Modeling and Rendering with EV and Cycles by Alan Brito is a book about using Blender 2.8 and above for Agvis. The book shows how to properly import and handle cut data in Blender as well as how to easily create PBR materials and finally render the scene with both Cycles and EV. It's up to date with Blender 2.8. If you are interested in using Blender for Agvis, do yourself a favor and get this book. Blender 3D Cookbook by Enrico Valenza is a very good learning resource for modeling, sculpting in Blender. The book covers the entire creation of reptilian character, from modeling the base mesh to sculpting, unwrapping, texturing, rigging, animating, shading and rendering it with cycles. Everything is discussed thoroughly and in a very organized way. I know some people that still use it to this day despite it being fairly outdated. 
Blender 3D Incredible Machines by Christopher Kuhn is one of the best books on hard surface modeling I've ever read, hands down. It's also applicable to other 3D packages such as 3D's Max, Maya, Modo, Cinema 4D and others. Since polygonal modeling concepts are usually universal and software agnostic, the only issue with this book is that it was published in 2015 so it's outdated in regards to the new Blender 2.8 and above user interface. Learning Blender is a hands-on guide to creating 3D animated characters by Oliver Villa, an excellent book for Blender beginners. In fact, the best one in my opinion, it starts with a good introduction to Blender's user interface and basic features and then it gradually advances into creating a complete cartoon character in Blender. From polygon modeling to rigging, animating, shading and rendering, the only downside is that it's not up to date with the latest version of Blender. But hey, you can still go through and you might find it helpful in certain aspects of your Blender journey. Digital Movie Making was a very good Blender book. It touches the overall production of an animated project, which is an overlooked topic by most Blender books. Since it tries to cover a wide topic in such a small amount of pages, it can be fairly advanced for beginners and intermediate artists. Another downside of this book is that it's pretty outdated considering it was published in 2010. As you can see by the reviews above, some of those Blender books were written before the 2.8 version was even in alpha stage. I'm pretty sure there are other Blender books available on the market but I cannot comment on them since I have not read them. Now, if there is any book as a 3D artist, not necessarily Blender alone, that you think it would be worthy to share in my comment section below, I would be glad for you to do that and I hope most newbies will find them useful. If you love this video, kindly don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Until my next video, peace out.